بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الطلب الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأهلا ومرحبا بكم في هذا الجزء الرابع للمحور الثالث الذي بعنوان 3D Fastener We will start by terminology for bolt Bolt is a 3D cylinder with a head This is hexagonal head bolt and nuts This is bolt and this is nut. Should be represented like this drawing. This is the head thickness, length, three length, width across flat. What is the drawing steps of this figure? Now, draw the bolt axis position first. Draw an end view of the head. It will be the starting position maybe. Here you have this is the B, this is the distance across flat. We'll draw hexagonal with the internal circle this distance B. Okay? Draw a bolt head. This is starting position, okay? This is head thickness. You have these four summit. Project on the uh, on the uh, front view here. Make a chamfer 30 degrees here. Up and down after that. From this point, take half of B and draw arc of circle. Now you'll get this point intersection between arc and the axis position. Take also half of B and draw another arc. You'll get three points. Intersection with the first arc and intersection with the axis position. From here take an arc tangent to the starting position and from here do the same. Tangent to the starting position. From here also take a tangent for the starting position. Now we'll continue with the head. Okay. Finish the head. Okay. Draw body of the bolt now. Steps are the following. You have the length. Okay. You have the thread length here. Okay, this is the minor diameter. Take 45 chamfer. Here 30 degrees chamfer. And draw the uh, body of the bolt. Okay. Right. This is excellent. And here this is the side of you. Now, how about the nut? Start by drawing an end view of the nut. Here the axis position. This is the end view. You have a cross flat distance B. Draw a hexagon by using this circle inside. Okay. Finish the hexagon. And now draw here the thickness of the, uh, the note. You get four summit here, stunting. Make projection. Okay. Take here chamfer with 30 degrees. Starting from this point, take half of B, draw an arc. The intersection here also, from this point as a center, take half of B and draw another arc. You intersection here and here with the, the first arc give you two points and here intersection with the axis position. From this point, draw the tangent for the left end of the 
بنوت فروم هير دو ذا سيم اند فروم هير اولسو دو ذا سيم تيك ذا تانجنت اوكي فروم ذيس بوينت وي ويل دو ذا سيم فور ذا اذر سايد انترسكت هير سوري فروم هير اوكي وي ويل تيك هاف اوف بي Okay, intersection here will take half of B2. We'll draw an arc. Okay. Intersect in three points, two points with the first arc and one point with the axis. Starting from this point, do the same, but now for the right side of the newt. You'll get the same shape. And finally, this is the newt. representation okay this is with the axis and now this is the front of you for the knot remaining yes the three drawing dashed lines represent a threaded hole are omitted for clarity here we didn't put the dashed line for the threads this is for the clarity Stud terminology now. Stud is a headless bolt threaded at both ends, threaded here and here, and without head, headless. Okay. The drawing is the following. We have thread length at the right side, thread length at the left side, and this is the total length. Drawing steps for the stud. Draw the stud axis position. Take the major diameter. You have the minor diameter. Starting position is here. Go. This is stud length. Okay. Threaded length from the left side and now from the right side. Okay. Take chamfer 45 degrees at the left side. Take a chamfer 45 degrees at the right side also. and draw line making 30 degrees with the axis here in the middle and now just to make final lines to represent the stud thick lines for all the body and thin lines for the roots okay and run out for the three zones at right and left side This is the axis of the stud. Okay. We have an application now for a stud. This is a part. We have first to make a drill. We have to drill a hole here. Okay. Second, we have to tap this hole. Okay, to make internal thread. Third step, we have uh, to screw a stud here. Okay. stud it screwed here very nice now we have to place the part to be fastened okay part 2 and now insert washer and fasten it a nut finally we get these two part part 1 and part 2 fastened by using what by using a stud and nut and washer set screws terminology set screw is a threaded cylinder used to prevent rotation or movement between parts this is the different shapes of set screws this is colored cone point this is flat point this is oval point this is cap point this one is called full dark point and this one is called half dark point okay set screws are used here some examples 
okay this one with cone is used to stop this part to move with this part relative to this part here also we get set screw here too it is a set screw to prevent motion between this part and this part